Let's keep that going and welcome to the stage, Billy Price! <laughs> Billy Price, everyone! <laughs> Yo guys, what's good? What's good? What's good? Uh, I'm gonna start this off so you fucking make sense of any of my jokes by telling you my dad was three things. He was a gypsy, a cockney, and an arm robber, which just made him an erratic piece of shit, right? Uh, have we ain't got any grafters in the room, anyone that's worked in manual labour. Yeah? You ever had piles? Whoever that was. I can't tell by your face if you're straining right now. When you work hard, you lift fucking incorrectly. You get piles, right? When I was younger, I come down with a bad case of them. All hanging out of my ass, I was. And uh, my dad says, being the travelling man he was, he goes, son, I've got just a thing for you, right? Next time you have a cup of tea, just split open the tea bag. Said, once it's brewed, split open the tea bag, just wrap it on your bum like pseudo cream. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll do that. I'll give that a go. So that, n that night, I go to sleep. Uh, well, I have my cup of tea. And I go to sleep. And I wake up in the morning, I'm feeling good. A bit like, you know, fucking Charlie's granddad, Willy Wonka, I jump out of bed. And I'm like, I'm feeling good. So I stroll down and I'm like, Dad, have a look at this. He goes, go on then, son, drop your fucking cacks down. So I've got him down and he's looking and he just goes, wow, wow. And I go, wow, are they gone? He goes, no, son, but you are going to meet a beautiful woman in five years. And I said, beautiful, but what's she like? Is she nice? And he goes, I don't know, son. It's an arsehole, not a crystal ball. <laughs> right, I'm going to tell you some of this. Some of this gypsy magic stuff don't work, all right? Because it's been five years. I ain't met this beautiful woman. But I do remember one other time I did have to experience a bit of gypsy magic. I was in van with my dad. And we was unloading it for the scrap metal. Do you know what I mean? Stereotypes. Uh, and I say to him, I had a girlfriend at the time. She worked in the kebab shop. And some of the people in the kebab shop being kind of inappropriate to her. And I'm like 15. So I'm like, how do, how do you handle this? So I say it to my dad. And he's all right then, son. Uh, just keep, keep unloading. So we unload it. At the end, he goes, get in the van. We're going around. So I'm like, oh, fuck it. And I'm like shaking. And we drive around. And he goes, look, it's empty. He goes, you go in there. Do what you need to do. I'm going to stand outside. So I'm like, cool, do you know I feel? I'm trying to like picture the kind of feeling when you've just watched Green Street and you're fucking hard as fuck. So I storm in there and I'm like, you, rah, 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 rah. This is when dad comes in, right? And I think he didn't give me enough time because I feel like I had it handled. And he comes in, he goes, my Billy. My Billy will fight any man. And, and the guy's like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. He goes, nah, my Billy will fight any man. And he's going to do it now. You and him are going to go down to that fucking field right now and have a bari. And what do you reckon happened? 15-year-old me got the shit kicked out of him, man. There's, there's no amount of fucking, like, gypsy blood that just makes you invincible. How much fighting experience did my dad reckon I had at that age? Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, years later, unfortunately, my dad did die. And uh, I remember when he did, my big brother said to me, Billy, nah, nah, dad's gone. I'm the manly ass. I'm going to do what manly ass does. I find that funny because he's not shagged mum once. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> and nor has he slapped her. And if there's anything dad did more, it was... See, that one never goes down well. People don't like DV jokes. And fair enough. And it does make me feel bad making them jokes in the way they are on my mum, who is like the light of my life, the best woman I ever knew, set an example of what women should be for me. And do you know I mean, her only crime really was falling in love with a violent criminal and dating or betting an armed robbery. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking I didn't think I'd get a laugh. Oh, right, guys, I'm kind of out of my material. So till I see that red light flick, I'm just going to talk about something that I fucking thought of recently. And it's a phrase of, I remember when I was younger, my dad used to say, boy, you're ugly as sin. And it's like, fair enough, like, this nose isn't from being punched. I've been punched since, but this from like, a little scar on my lip, cleft lip and palate, put your face out of fucking thoughts. But you say to me, son, you're ugly as sin. And that makes me laugh, because, like, actually, sin's quite sexy. Drugs. Anal sex. <laughs> adultery. 
you know what I mean? If it was like a fucking sex party, the sinners would be having fun and fucking Jesus would be in the corner playing his harp, fucking covered in cum with a fucking confused look on his face. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Now I've done all my shit and I'm just like, hey, right, guys, fucking the red light's here, save me. Uh, guys, I'm just going to say uh, thank you, been really receptive, I was quite nervous coming up here. Uh, thank you. Billy Price, everyone! <laughs>